Hello everyone, how are you? I am Akrash, your teacher here and I will teach you different questions and their answers. So I welcome you on ClassTheta.com. So our today's question is The statistical analysis process Reddit named Ted Take It Home. The statistical analysis process enables to use data to make decisions about situations where we only have a limited amount of information. The statistical investigation we conducted, conducted in this lesson involved using data from students in class to assess whether a person's chronotype can be predicted by their birth month. Using data from the class we made an inference about the relationship between the birth month and chronotype for all people statistical investigations allows us to use data from smart sample to make generalizations about much longer populations in the next problem we will use the statistical analysis process to investigate whether to whether a coin is fair a student flips a coin 10 times and finds that the coin landed heads on eight of the ten flips. Does this result provide convincing evidence that the coin is not fair? In other words, does this result provide convincing evidence that the probability that the coin lands heads is not equal to the probability that the coin lands heads? Answer the question below to investigate this research question. If a coin is fair. The probability that the coin lands heads is equal to the probability that the coin lands tails. What is the probability that the coin that the coin lands heads on a single coin flip? If a coin is fair and the f and is flipped ten times, how many times should we expect that the coin lands heads? Is it reasonable to expect that the coin will land heads exactly 5 out of 10 times explain C using a stimulation we can e examine the outcome data likely if a fair coin is flipped 10 times in the dot plot below each dot represents the number of times a fair coin landed heads in 10 coin flips the dot plot contain 100 outcomes and the answer of the question is the statistical analysis process name TET take it home the statistical analysis process enables, enables us to use data to make decisions about situations when we only have a limited among, amount of information the statistical investigation we conducted in this lesson involved using data from students in class to assess whether a person's chronotype can be predicted by their birth month using data from the class we met and inference about the relationship between the birth month and chronotype for all people statistical investigation allows us to use data from small sample to make generalization about much larger populations in the next problem we will use the statistical analysis process to investigate whether a coin is fair. A student flips a coin 10 times and finds that the coin landed heads on 8 of the 10 flips. Does this result provide convincing evidence that the coin is not fair? In other words, does this result provide convincing evidence that the probability that the coin lands heads is not equal to the probability that the coin lands tails? Answer the questions below to investigate this research question. First, if a coin fair, the probability that the coin lands head is equal to the probability that the coin lands tails. What is the probability that the coin lands heads on a single coin flip? If a coin fair and is flipped 10 times, how many times should we expect that the coin lands heads? It is it reasonable to expect that the coin will land heads exactly 5 out of the 10 times explain c using a simulation we can examine the outcomes data likely if a fair coin is flipped 10 times in the dot plot below each dot represent the number of times a fair coin landed heads in 10 coin flips 
the dot plot contain 100 outcomes thank you for watching the video if you have any question related to this video please post a comment below if you have any question in your mind you can also post on the website and i will be answering you in the next video thank you for engaging with us until next video bye bye